Hey everyone, Kevin here. Today I have a quick video for all of you. I wanna show you how you can properly play a video and also music in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Unfortunately, all too often, when a host of a meeting attempts to play a video, this happens. All right, everyone, well, thanks for hopping on. Let me go ahead, let's play the video. Can everyone see it okay? Yeah, 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 hey, Kevin, Kevin, this is Nestor. Yeah, Nestor, what's up? Yeah, yeah, no, I we we could we could see the video fine, but uh, yeah, no, I can't I can't hear anything at all. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Let me uh, let me try adjusting the setting right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, what about now? Yeah, yeah no, no, no audio. Uh, maybe maybe you could just dub it over and just try saying what the video's saying, but we we can't hear anything. Yeah, you don't want to have that happen to you. All right. Well, let's jump on the PC and let's look at how we can do this correctly. Here I am now in Microsoft Teams and I'm currently in a meeting. I wanna show my coworkers a commercial that I pulled together for the Kevin Cookie Company. And when it comes to my coworkers, they're somewhat judgmental with technology. So I wanna make sure that I play it back correctly. And that means that when I play the video that it also includes sound. To share a video or to share music, let's go up to the top actions right up here and there's the option to share content. Let's click on this. This opens up the share tray on the bottom of my screen and here I can see all of the different types of content that I can share. And right here I have a Chrome window with a YouTube video that I want to show my coworkers. Now before I click on this, one of the most important things is there is a toggle right here that says include computer sound. By default, when I share any one of these desktops or windows, it'll only include my microphone sound. Any of my computer sounds by default will not be included. So what is a computer sound? Well, let's say you play back a video or maybe you play a song on your computer. All of those qualify as computer sounds. So if you wanna include that when you play back a video or when you play music, let's make sure to toggle this on. One additional item to call out. When you toggle on include computer sound, that only applies to the desktop and it only applies to Windows. So let's say that you had music or video incorporated into a whiteboard or maybe directly in a PowerPoint presentation. Unfortunately, neither the whiteboard nor the PowerPoint will include any computer sound. So if you're playing back a video or music, you wanna make sure to either select desktop or window. For now, I'll click on this window and let's test out how it works. I'm now sharing my window and when I hit play, I can hear the audio, but what about Nestor? Let's jump over to his window and see if the audio is coming through for him. I'm now over in Nestor's view and when I hit the play icon, I can now confirm that the video plays back and the audio plays back as well. And look at this, the quality is actually pretty decent. We could watch the video, we could listen to the audio, so it's really not bad. And of course, if you want even better quality, you can share the link ahead of time and everyone could just watch independently. But hey, then you're not watching together. So this works fairly well. Now that we've looked at how you can play a video in a web browser using Microsoft Teams, next, I wanna show you how you can play a video directly in a PowerPoint presentation, also in Microsoft Teams. Here I have a PowerPoint presentation. Next, I wanna to jump to YouTube to get a URL for the video. This will work with other video services as well. For example, with Vimeo, SlideShare, and also Microsoft Stream. I'm now on YouTube and I wanna integrate this video of me pulling cookies out of the oven into my PowerPoint presentation. To do that, we need to get the URL. Down below, I see the share icon. When you click on this, this opens up a share control and right here, we see the URL for the video. I can simply click on here to copy it. Also, as a pro tip, if I want this video to start at a specific point, down below, I can check this checkbox. And when I check that, you'll see that it appends a T equals at the end. This tells YouTube at what point the video should start. And the number at the end indicates the number of seconds into the video. Now that I have the URL of this video, let's jump back into Microsoft PowerPoint. Back within PowerPoint to insert this video, let's go up to the top ribbon and click on the option that says insert. Over on the far right hand side, we have different types of media that we can insert. 
right here I can insert a video. I do also want to call out though that you can also insert music or audio. If you click over on audio, you can insert audio from your PC or you could even record audio right here. Now I want to insert my YouTube video, so I'll click on video and right down here there's the option to insert an online video. Let's click on this option. This opens up a prompt where I can enter in the address for the online video. Before I do that, let's take a quick look down here. Here you'll see all of the different services that are currently supported in PowerPoint. So YouTube, one of the most popular, but there is also now support for Microsoft Stream. So chances are, if you have a video, you'll be able to embed it into your PowerPoint presentation. Also, it's a good idea to link to a video on one of these services instead of embedding a video directly into your PowerPoint. When you embed a video into a PowerPoint, it'll really balloon the size of your file. Right up here, let's click in this field and then paste in the URL. Once you paste it in, you'll see a preview of what it looks like. Next, let's click on insert. This now inserts my video directly onto the slide and it's just like any other object within PowerPoint. Here I can click on the item and I can move it around. I could adjust the size of it. So here I can make it bigger. Also, once I insert a video onto the slide, I have two additional options up here on the top ribbon, including video format and playback. I wanna highlight a few quick features that you can set. Within video format, over here, there's an option called poster frame. You can use this to adjust what this initial image looks like. If we go up to the top and click on playback, most of these options are grayed out, but there is one option where you can define how the video starts. You can have it start in the click sequence, you could have it start automatically or when clicked on. So here you can choose which one best fits your presentation. Once you're all done creating your PowerPoint presentation, let's jump back into Microsoft Teams. Back now within Microsoft Teams, we wanna share our PowerPoint presentation. Once again, let's go up to the share content icon. This opens up this share tray. And here again, I see all the different types of content that I can share. Now, once again, it's extremely important to make sure you toggle this. We wanna make sure that we include computer sound. If you don't do this, it'll play the video in the PowerPoint, but no one will be able to hear it. Right down here, I'm currently showing my PowerPoint in a slideshow. I'll share this window right here. Here I am now back within Nestor's view and you can see the PowerPoint presentation. I'm playing the video, you can also hear the audio and it's pretty much playing back perfectly. This quality looks really good to me. This is a great way to watch a video or listen to a music through Microsoft Teams. All right, well, that's how easy it is to play a video or music in Microsoft Teams. Probably the hardest part is when you go to share your screen, just to remember to hit that toggle. Unfortunately, once you start sharing, you can't change that toggle. So you have to stop sharing and then you have to share again. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you wanna see me cover any other topics on this channel, leave a note down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.